Good morning everyone, day three of Prague. So we've seen most of the touristy things here like Charles Bridge and um, the palace, Old Town Square. We've seen most of that. So today we've decided to go to Sapa, S-A-P-A, which is pretty much uh, like Little Saigon, I think they call it, or Little Vietnamese Place. It's quite a, quite a big population of Vietnamese people in uh, Czech Republic actually. And it seems like most of them are over there in Sapa. So it's going to be a one hour trip and we'll be heading over there now. Okay, so quick update. We've now arrived very closely to Little Hanoi or Sapa. We, we caught a tram and then we caught a bus afterwards. It was around a 50 minute, uh, 50 minute commute, but we're finally around here. We're outside of uh, Prague city now. And what I've kind of noticed is that the houses here are more modern. They're not as uh, historical as the, the buildings in Prague. Okay, so we're outside of Sapa now and I think one of the main reasons why I wanted to visit Little Hanoi is because Anir has been in London for nearly two years. There's not many Asians in London actually, so it's actually really cool to see Vietnamese people outside of Vietnam, especially a little hub of them. So Anita and I are at Fur Tongue and we got fur. Combination beef fur. Get your Vietnamese fur fix right now. We're in Prague for three days and we had fur two times already. <laughs> it's so hard to get Asian food in London. It's time for dessert. I got myself a Vietnamese coffee to keep me awake for the rest of the day. And he has got some Vietnamese teh, which is like Vietnamese dessert. How is it? I got scan. <laughs> There's no joke. So I just got a Vietnamese haircut done here in Czech Republic. It's pretty fresh. It's 200 crowns, so maybe like 200 crowns is like what? 12, 13 Australian dollars. Pretty affordable. Looks really good, really, really fresh as well. Looking cute, eh? Hello! So we finished catching the bus. We're now going back to the hotel on the tram. We're waiting for the tram now. Um, Ellie, how'd you like the, the food at the Viet Town? It was delicious. What was your favorite there? Um, the pho, the noi style. Yum. It's really good. But that's because I haven't had any Vietnamese in London. Um, and if there is, they, it just doesn't taste nice. So I haven't had proper Viet food for two years. So coming here and eating, we spent like four hours there, so four or five hours, so like pretty much half a day. Pretty tired. We're gonna conk out on the tram later, I feel like. So on our way back to the hotel, we decided to stop over at this super mall, or this shopping mall actually. And because we're a bit tired, we decided to get some coffee. You got a mocha, right, Anita? Yeah, I got my mocha. Now you got a mocha and I got a cappuccino. Costa. One thing I noticed is that the coffee in Europe, they don't have chocolate dusting. It's particularly an Australian thing. 
So update, Kanade and I, we're gonna get our um, feet done. I'm gonna clean my feet. Whoever's doing my um, pedicure, I feel sorry for them because my feet smell really bad right now. <laughs> Just finished our pedicure and manicure session. My feet are like very soft and like pillowy. We're now heading to dinner and we're going to like a rib place. Alright, so we just had dinner and we had a dinner at a, um, a Czech pub which only had Czech menus and no English menus at all. I had a, a deep fried cheese, Anita had a pork, not goulash, but pork and dumplings. Did you like it? Yeah, it was nice. Good morning. So, today is day three and we're heading off to Vienna this afternoon. We're gonna get a quick brunch and a famous, it's not famous, but they're known for their eggs benedict and they're super fluffy. So a 15 minute tram ride, we'll be there. We're gonna get our breakfast, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel. Maybe get, get some fruit and coffee. as a um, hotel breakfast that we can grab some food from. So it's like two degrees here today in Prague this morning. It's freezing cold. Freezing. Freezing. Absolutely freezing. So we ended up back at the shopping mall that we were at yesterday. Um, so the coffee shop is very close to that shopping mall. It's like around a five minute tram right outside of Prague, Prague 1. Alright, so we just finished eating at that restaurant. Um, we had the Eggs Benedict and Eggs Florentine, and they're like super, super fluffy egg whites. Um, really nice hollandaise sauce as well. We're now heading back to the hotel, um, get packed up, maybe eat a bit more at the, at the hotel breakfast, um, and yeah, get ready for our trip to Vienna. So we made it back to the hotel and we're now having our second breakfast. So what we got. Balanced diet. Nice. Alright, so we just checked out the hotel. We caught a tram and we're walking through to the to the station now. And we're gonna catch a train all the way to Vienna. It's gonna be I think a three or four hour ride. And so we're walking through this we're walking through a park right now and I'm lugging around the luggage. It's very difficult because there's cobblestones everywhere in Prague. So that was a mission. I just kept going cluck, 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 cluck. But yeah, it's good. Nearly at the station now. So we just made it onto the train. We're, we're riding with Regio Jet to all the way to Vienna. Um, and opposite us is actually the arrival order, which is CD. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, we're finally moving though. Close the door, close the door. In business for Regio Jet, 
not only do you get your own cabin, but you also get free drinks. So they offer orange juice, and then you can get champagne. So we took both, so we could do a mimosa. Um, so that'll be fun. And then they also give you chocolate and water. And they also come with coffee. So that'll be cool for our journey to be in. So we also ordered uh, a Caesar salad, uh, hot chocolate. What else did we get? Um, a cheesecake? What was the last thing we got? So we got a hot chocolate, a cheesecake, a Caesar salad, oh, and a croissant. And that was 109 crowns, which is like, uh, I think seven, eight Australian dollars. So really cheap. Let's see what it looks like when it comes over. Cheap, right? Well, free is free, you know. Oh, okay. Half a cup of champagne. Another half a cup of champagne. And then you add OJ orange juice. Pour it in. Fancy. Looking fancy. We're really going on a ride now. Should I put a grape in there? Grape in there? <laughs> Should we make it extra fancy? Okay, chuck a grape in there. Fancy it up. Put some red wine and make a sangria. Did you wash the grape yet? No. I have tissues with me. That's a bit concerning. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to that. So we got this cheesecake with chocolate on top. We got a croissant. Over here, hot chocolate. And finally, a Caesar salad. Quite good and very generous. Very big portion of Caesar salad there. All that for 109 Czech crowns. Very worth. So after four hours of train ride, we're finally at Vienna and we're going to catch a train slash bus to the hotel now. Alright, so we had dinner and we're just walking around uh, Vienna right now. It's only 8.30 but all the shops are closed. Most of the supermarkets that we've been looking at on Google Maps are closed. Um, there's still people walking around, I'm not sure what they're doing though. But we want to get dessert, I can't really find a dessert place. So I think probably early night today, head back home to the hotel and just do a bit of research as to what we're going to do tomorrow and the days following.